for too long. I don't know what else to do. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look around the girls' room. It was a massive passion project. We really enjoyed doing it. Um, and I will pop some before and after pictures up because if you look at the before pictures, it doesn't even look like the same room. And to be honest, even like thinking back to it now, it doesn't feel like it's the same room and you know, we live in it. Um, we just found various ways to utilize the space so much better um, and go from struggling to fit two single beds in here to fit in four very well and storage and managing to keep it all in a room that technically doesn't have enough space um yeah so i'll take you for a look around the room show you all the details and then i can pop the q a stuff at the end as well and um, get martin in because obviously martin knows a lot more about the building of the bed and um, the you know the technical stuff that DIY bits of it, that's not my domain. Not because I couldn't, <laughs> just because Martin's very specific with the DIY stuff, the, uh, the interiors and the ideas, um, like the pretty stuff. That's what I'm into. Um, I really enjoy that, really getting into the design part of it. Um, I find the pretty stuff and then I throw it Martin and his dad's way and they make it a reality. So. Yes, getting Martin in for some of it is going to be very helpful. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoy. So here is the girls quad bunk. Obviously, I think for quite obvious reasons, we get a lot of questions about this. We actually, well, I found the idea on Pinterest. And then Martin and his dad made it into a reality. It took a lot of blood, sweat and tears and Martin is definitely a perfectionist so it took a lot of his time to get the all the measurements perfect. Now we have these bedside lights which of course one's not turned on just you know reality and all that for you. We have these in each of the bunks they can be turned off Look in each of the beds, they've got their own switches, which means the kids can control at night whether they want their bedside light on or not. And then we have main lights too in the room. I actually really love this light shade, which I think, if I remember rightly, was from Alex and Alexa. I'll make sure to put all the links to where things are from under the video on a blog post so that if you like anything you can get it. Um, back to the bed. We were struggling on how to fit two single beds in this room and obviously Scout will be coming in here at some point too so there was a lot of concern over whether or not we'd be able to fit everyone in. What we actually did was we used singles but small singles so they're a tad bit narrower and a little bit shorter but if we could have put full size ones in but then we couldn't have got these beautiful stairs in the middle and I think the stairs make a massive difference to the entire look of the bed to be honest so we didn't want to give up on that the stairs beautiful now one of my favorite things and I don't think many people would think of it um oh well i don't think it would bother many people i absolutely love the paneling so these like this bit um and then right at the back of the bed this paneling things like this are a very clever way to make your you know cheaper bed look like it's an expensive one um, so I love putting, you know, putting all the little bits and bobs up. I think it really helps. Um, as far as paint goes, colour, we did use Farron Ball and we used the one that's better for wear and tear. I'll have to find the exact type for you. As I said, I'm going to link everything for you in the comments. So I'll put the exact colour shade because it looks white. 
but I am very specific about saying this. There are so many whites and your paint choice makes a massive difference if you are doing a white bedroom. Different standards of white. <laughs> so a lot of the design element I will have to leave for Martin to discuss with you because that is not my domain. So this is the bed then guys. As we mentioned before we've got six drawers underneath. That's actually an Ikea bed. It's a double bed which we cut into two. Um, and then utilise the drawers and um, that's because I just like to utilise every square inch of the space that we're uh, converting. We've obviously got four little pods and um, we've put a little bit of um, railing on there just to make it look a bit prettier. Obviously it's the safety rails on the bed which we've incorporated into the design. And all the pods are identical in size and we've all got little light switch, they've got independent little light switches and we've also got a, a master switch on the wall so we can turn them on, off, on and off at bedtime. We, we decided to go for steps rather than ladders uh, for a, more of a safety feature than anything, but we do think they look quite nice. Yes. And obviously make sure you get an electrician involved if you want to do any electrics. It's a relatively easy job for the electrician, we just needed to point out where we wanted the, the lights so that's not as scary as you might think. There we go. There is our quad bunk. Now, the bedding, Martin's made the beds today, so a little bit bumpy. Um, the bedding is from Larry Doubt and is beautiful. It was very affordable, you know, it wasn't an expensive buy, and that's very helpful when you've got four beds to put bedding on. <laughs> These cushions are from. Well, I bought them from Modern Nursery, um, but they're Nobody Knows, or Nobody Knows. I don't know how you say it, but um, yes, Nobody Knows. And we've got two in the mustard colour and two in rust colour. Beautiful. And also... We have a lot of cushions, but Martin gets really frustrated with me for buying lots. We have lots up here on the bookshelf as well. We'll take you through those in a minute. Um, the hanging plant. This pretend hanging plant, which is made out of felt and is wonderful. I love it. Um, I wanted real plants, but you know, the reality of having a white bedroom and children and real plants, yeah. Just not a great idea. Um, this felt plant was from uh, Kidley. Um, we got this one and then we got two of these ones. Definitely love these, although Martin does his best to put them away whenever he can. Alright, so next is this side of the room. Now it's never, ever, ever, it is never normally this tidy. Um, this was our storage solution for all of the toys. We've got these really cheap IKEA units and IKEA drawers. I mean these drawers, so cheap. I'm, you know, I'm not gonna lie, they're plain pine, not treated, but they work perfectly in this space. Um, this canopy Again, it was from Modern Nursery. The plan is eventually to have a, a cushion made for here uh, so that that can be a little reading nook. But for now, they love playing their games on there um, and I don't want to ruin that for them. Again, the, the shelves are cheap IKEA shelves, I do believe. Um, and then the details. This... Um, this garland is nobody knows again. Um, matches because this is also nobody knows. <laughs> Got a lot of this stuff, but basically by doing the room white, it left me the ability to be able to detail with colour, which I enjoy. Uh, people always want to know, oh my goodness, like I can't believe you've done a kids' room in white, but it works so well, so beautifully, and the kids absolutely love it. Um, more details. These baskets, oh, 
I can't remember the brand they are, but I know they were definitely from Alex and Alexa again. In fact, I specifically ordered off of that website purely for these baskets. We've got a pear one here and we've got an apple one that I'll show you in a minute and I absolutely love them. These, if you're a Grimm's toy lover, you know, these are just, they go in the big rainbow, which is over there on the windowsill. Um, and it means you can build it up as a tower. <clears throat> so yes, that's what they do. And my plant. So that's that shelf. We normally have a massive stack of books on here, but Martin's put them away for some. <laughs> And over here, we've had this wooden toy house for a while now. I think that was from Myriad Toys originally, but the beautiful thing about wooden toys is not only are they great for toys, they're also great for decoration. And there is my very decorative mobile phone, but you'll have to ignore that for now. Uh, on this shelf, we've got Grimm's Mini Rainbow with the colour missing because that is life with children. Uh, some papoose toys trees which are from conscious craft and the apple which has got some garland shoved in it but that is the apple basket and i absolutely love it now onto these curtains again oh my goodness lauren why would you do why in a kid's bedroom don't we just think they're so beautiful though and it's so fresh it looks so fresh and um, they are linen and they are from Secret Linen. We love some white linen. So yes, the curtains are from Secret Linen. Down here, this is a very important detail for me. I absolutely love this with the white. It's the toy basket and that I got from Conscious Craft. The girls absolutely love it to pull everything around in. The thing is, when you start buying wooden toys and little wicker baskets and things like that, you're always like, oh, they're so expensive. But then they double as decoration. It just looks so beautiful. So another thing that we get a lot of love on is this bookshelf. These, again, very cheap IKEA. Um, ah, very cheap IKEA picture ledgers. They're called picture ledgers, I do believe. Um, we just put four of the long ones up and that has worked perfectly. We did buy a once upon a time wire sign for up at the top, however the girls got hold of it and broke it. And yes, there were conversations about that. Mm. Um, something that works really well is my love of beautiful children's books because it just makes the room look so much more beautiful just because. I have them, just because they're on there. So next time your partner complains about your hoarding of children's books, you can just say, look, the bedroom's just gonna look so much more beautiful. Interior design, my friends. So this cushion I think is Faber Lab. Oh no, I'm laughing. This cushion is Firm Living and we love it. This one is Faber Lab. Faber Lab. It's not a cushion, it's a toy. And this one is also Faber Lab. Unconscious Craft. Hi guys, right, so we're gonna answer your questions about the girls' bedroom, hopefully. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, do you have any recommendations for doing a kid's room up on a budget, a teensy tiny budget? I, I think we were talking about this before, I think good paint and the colour choice is a good thing. If you're gonna invest in anything, go for that rather than going for sort of the cheap budget stuff invest a little bit more in that because at the end of the day it's all over the walls it's all over the bed it's 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 everywhere and that can make a difference to the, the quality the feel can't it yeah I think also one that most people who are just decorating wouldn't normally think of and I think we only really know because we've knocked walls down and rebuilt them is skirting board getting a wide like 
tall skirt skating board can make a big difference, can make a yeah. big difference for a smaller amount of money than trying to buy snazzy interior decorating things because it adds a quality to the room. Um, get, get the base right. Yeah, get the base right before you build on it. Put your money into that rather than the interior design element. Yeah. Um, right. <laughs> Second question. Do they like sharing? If we have more kids, they'll be sharing, so I'm interested to know what it's like. I think they do. They prefer it, I think, don't they? They get a bit lonely. <laughs> so, Nola and Maya used to share back when we had the caravan, um, and Nola didn't like sharing because there's a four year age girl and she'd just had enough um, and wanted her own room. However, Maya and Ridley have got a closer age gap and they, they love sharing. There's moments when they get fed up with each other, but ultimately, so for example, uh, Maya gets frustrated about Ridley getting in her bed at night. But then we moved Ridley to one of the bottom bunks the other night and then Maya got upset because she, loves she, it really. she was on her own. So, yeah, they, they like sharing, really. They always play together, don't they? They do. And Maya misses Ridley when she's not there, when she can't see her. Question number three. Can I come for a sleepover? <laughs> well, we've got a spare bed. We've got a spare bed. We've got a spare, spare bed in the bunk, so uh, <laughs> we can get it arranged. Why not? <laughs> Bring snacks. Um, where are the Dalmatian spit sheets from? The sheets, the bed in, is from Larry Dow. Fantastic and cheap. So, yeah. always a bonus. I'm going to link everything after I post the video anyway, so you'll be able to find them, hopefully, as long as they've still got them. <laughs> um, where did we find a quad bunk? We built it! Well, <laughs> that's a very interesting question. Lauren found it. <laughs> I went on Pinterest and I was like, ooh, look at that, that looks pretty. So then I sent it to Martin and was like, yeah. get it made. We knew we wanted at least three beds and we discovered that we can fit four beds into the same space as we can fit for your best, didn't we? So, yes. uh, we used the quad bunk was born. The quad bunk yeah. was designed yeah. with Martin yeah. having a little bit of a... Yeah. It was a tricky one. Yeah. We Perfectionist. It just fits as well and it took a lot of planning Design. and squeezing in. And we are lucky that my dad's a joiner. So, uh. Yeah, so <laughs> Martin and his dad spent some time while me and the kids went and stayed at Centre Parks. Martin and his dad spent time figuring that all out. Um, and building it, putting it together. Some of the beds are a little bit narrow, well, all of the beds are a little bit narrower and a bit shorter than a standard single, uh, but we did that so that we could get the middle bit of the stairs in that looks really but beautiful. It, it is all readily available. It is just a small mm -hmm. size mattress. Small it's single. not bespoke. It's not um, it's nothing that you too can difficult get hold to of. get hold of. So. Um, and we also built storage underneath. I don't know if you can see, but there's like six big drawers. Um, because we bought a cheap IKEA bed that had underbed storage, used the bases for that, and then <laughs> built on top of it. There you go. So that's where all the kids' clothes live. Because we've had that question about storage as well. We yeah, just we got were, a bit clever with it. We always try and be resourceful. I think ultimately practicality when you've got four kids is key. So we try and start with a practical base, and then the pretty stuff comes after. Martin doesn't like stuff. So if he can find a way to get stuff away, he, he wants will clothes do it. everywhere. <laughs> um, is there any other All about loving the beds. Well, we are glad that you love the beds. We love the beds too, don't we? Yeah, we do love the beds, um, and I think it just—that is what the room's all about. It looked like a completely different room to start. We were struggling to fit the two beds in on their own and now this room just looks like a different room doesn't it? I think ultimately this isn't a very big bedroom really not on the grand scheme of things we basically we managed with a bit of clever thinking we managed to fit four bunks and a chest of drawers in the space of a, a fitted wardrobe which then allowed for this play space and a, a bit of space to have uh, some toy storage and things and ultimately I think that's what makes this this room work.
So here are some before and after pictures for you. As you can see on the before picture, we were struggling to fit anything in this bedroom. And it's crazy to me now to look back and see just how much space the two singles took up. And now the fact that we've got four beds and close storage all within that space with room to play. We, uh, we ended up moving a boiler out of the end of the room, which is patched up um, and up into the loft. So we had to put a wall back up there. And we took out this fitted wardrobe and made the room just bigger and brighter. Really utilized the space. Thank you so much for watching guys. As always, your support is massively appreciated. Hope you enjoy. I wanna get away from it.